He said, God, if you're real, then I want you to knock me off this platform. I'll give you 15 minutes to do it. 10 minutes went by, nothing happened. He kept taunting God, saying, here I am, God. I'm still waiting. It got down to the last couple of minutes and a big 240-pound Marine happened to be listening to the class. And he came in and he knocked that professor off the platform with two minutes to spare. And the guy come up, the professor said, what in the world do you do that for? He said, God couldn't make it, so he sent me. <laughs> God uses people. Praise the Lord. You know, there's a song we used to sing when we were kids. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to say. Remember that? Yeah. He's getting it. You see, the last point that I want to share with you today is that God saw you 2,000 years ago, right where you're sitting, right where you are today, in the situation you are in. And if you're not in the situation, he saw that too. He knows exactly where you are today. And Jesus prayed for you. That just blows my mind. Because he knows everything. Because he prayed for you, he wants you to succeed in your life. He wants you to be victorious. He wants you to be full of joy, unspeakable, and full of glory. He wants you to be happy. And no matter what you go through in your life, whether it's physical, emotional or any other way God sees where you're at and he has prayed for you he has prayed to the father that you would have victory in your life he cares that much for you he prayed that you would be successful in your life Amen? Amen. Amen. You stand your feet this morning. You get down here a little earlier this morning. He, the reason why Jesus prayed for you is because he loves a relationship with you. You know, we know the scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. We know that scripture. But I want you to know he loves you so much that he desires a relationship with you. And the way we can have that relationship with Jesus is through prayer. And you know what I found out about prayer? Prayer is just talking. And listening. <clears throat> you ever prayed and, and the Lord said, uh, will you be quiet for a minute? I need to talk to you. That's happened quite a few times to me. I got to where I wouldn't hardly speak. I just let the Lord speak to me. He loves you so much. He, he's not only willing to die, he told his disciples, he said, the time has come. My work is finished. And when he was on the cross, he yelled those words out, it is finished. Nothing needs to happen ever again. It's done. 
Now we've had fun today. I, I love the horns. I love those horns. We, we have, you know, had a lot of fun. I love the jokes and everything. I love I love it. I, I tried to sound like an elf just earlier. But more importantly, God wants you to have joy in the time that it doesn't seem like there's joy to be had. It doesn't seem like there's excitement to have. But we had it this morning already in the church. And God wants it to continue in your life. He wants you to have that joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Because in Jesus Christ, you can have that joy. Amen. Joy, 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 joy. Amen. Where? Down in the mind. There's another part to that song. I, it, it, I remember they talk so fast I never could get it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could never get that because they talk so fast. I'm, I'm still trying to get the first few words and, and they're already done. You're good, Tim. I, I take I, I take nothing that I've said about you at all. <laughs> I love you, Montana. I'm a close friend. We've known her for 30 30 something years. Yeah. <laughs> the patience you've had. <laughs> <laughs> but folks, it's it's a joy knowing Jesus and it's a joy knowing each other. Amen. Don't let joy, don't let the devil rob you of that joy. Don't let the devil rob you of that peace in your life. Don't let the, the devil rob you of, of hope in your life. Don't let the enemy rob you of anything that Jesus has given you. Because Jesus is in the joy. Amen. There's Jesus, there's others, and you. Jesus is in the joy. Don't let the enemy rob your bed. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word this morning. And although, Lord Jesus, it went in kind of a different direction this morning, I'm so glad that your word is so true and so wonderful. Yes. And Lord God, that we can have fun and and we could have a lot of a lot of fun in serving you. And like John used to say, let's get serious. And there are times that we don't have to get serious. We can just be ourselves and and have that joy and that wonderful relationship. Lord, I pray just as Jesus prayed for all believers that are here this morning. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to just lift your hands. I want to pray for you personally. We want to pray for you. Everybody say, how many say this morning? Lift your hand. You know beyond a shadow of doubt you're saved. Just lift your hand. All right, everybody say. Everybody say. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a pray. Amen. Yes. Unsaved in here? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And get them saved? Ministry next week. Yes. Don't forget, next Sunday is Valentine's Day, and, and Sister Rita, she's going to be ministering, and, and she is. She is so funny. She is so delightful. Amen. And so we can't wait to Amen. Amen. So come next week and let, and let her bless you. Amen. Amen. Now, turn around, shake hands, or shake elbows, or, or <laughs> 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 <laughs>